We've all got landmarks we admire, those iconic structures that capture our imagination and stand as symbols of human achievement. The Empire State Building, the Eiffel Tower, those kinds of things. These landmarks are more than just buildings. They are the embodiment of dreams and aspirations. These structures are more than just steel and concrete. They represent ambition, innovation, and the relentless human spirit. They are the physical manifestations of our desire to reach new heights and push the boundaries of what is possible. Today, we're heading to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, to explore a modern marvel that embodies all of these things, the Patronus Towers. These towers are not just buildings, they are a testament to what can be achieved when vision meets determination. Completed in 1998, the Patronus Towers were once the tallest buildings in the world. Their construction marked a significant milestone in architectural history. They held that title for six years, standing as a beacon of progress and innovation during that time. These towers are an incredible 88 stories high and soar 1,483 feet into the sky. Their sheer height is a marvel to behold. That's taller than the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower combined. It's a staggering feat of engineering and design. These towers are a symbol of Malaysia's rapid economic growth and its emergence as a global player. They stand as a proud representation of the nation's aspirations and achievements. But these towers are more than just a pretty face. Their design is a blend of aesthetics and functionality, making them a true architectural masterpiece. They represent a triumph of engineering and architectural ingenuity. The collaboration between engineers and architects brought this vision to life. The story of their construction is a testament to human collaboration, problem solving, and the will to achieve the seemingly impossible. It's a narrative filled with challenges and triumphs. So let's roll up our sleeves, grab our hard hats, and delve into the fascinating world of engineering that brought these twin giants to life. We'll explore the intricate details and the monumental efforts that made this dream a reality. Trust me, this is one story you won't want to miss. The journey of the Patronus Towers is a captivating tale of ambition, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Every great structure starts with a vision, a dream that transcends the ordinary and reaches for the skies. For the Patronus Towers, that vision came from Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad, a leader with a bold ambition. He wanted to create a landmark that would put Malaysia on the world map, something iconic, something unforgettable, a symbol of progress and modernity. Enter architect Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American known for his elegant and innovative skyscrapers. Pelli was the perfect choice to bring this vision to life. Pelli's design for the Patronus Towers was inspired by Islamic art and geometry, reflecting Malaysia's rich cultural heritage. He incorporated traditional Malaysian motifs into the building's facade, blending the old with the new. This created a stunning visual masterpiece that stands out both day and night. The tower's floor plan is based on the Rubel Hizbi, an eight-pointed Islamic star, a symbol of unity and harmony. Each point of the star is represented by a circular protrusion in the building's design, adding depth and dimension. This fusion of modern design and cultural heritage gives the towers a unique and captivating aesthetic, making them a true architectural marvel. But designing a building of this magnitude wasn't just about aesthetics. It was about overcoming engineering challenges. It was about pushing the boundaries of engineering and construction, achieving what seemed impossible. Pelli's vision demanded innovative solutions and a team of skilled engineers who were up for the challenge. Together, they turned a dream into reality, creating a structure that continues to inspire. Building something as massive as the Patronus Towers on the site chosen presented a major challenge, the ground. The location was not ideal for such a colossal structure. It wasn't stable enough to support the immense weight of the structures. The soil was too soft and unpredictable. The solution? Engineers had to dig deep, really deep. They needed to reach a more stable layer of earth. They sunk 104 concrete piles, some as long as 300 feet, into the ground. These piles were meticulously placed to ensure maximum stability. These piles act like giant anchors, securing the towers to the bedrock below. This was crucial for the building's integrity. This foundation is one of the deepest and strongest in the world. It had to be to support such an ambitious project. And remember those 88 stories I mentioned earlier? Well, they weren't just a random number. The height was carefully calculated. The height was chosen partly because of wind. Wind can be a significant factor in the design of tall buildings. See, tall buildings can sway in the wind, 
This movement can be unsettling and even dangerous if not properly managed. To minimize this, the engineers incorporated a unique design feature, a circular cross-section. This was a brilliant solution to a complex problem. This shape helps to reduce wind load and keep the towers stable. It ensures that the towers can withstand the forces of nature. Now let's talk materials. Building something this big requires a lot of them. The Petronas towers are constructed from over 36,910 tons of steel and 500,000 cubic meters of concrete. That's enough concrete to build a sidewalk around the world. But it's not just about quantity, it's about quality too. The steel used in the towers is high strength and flexible, able to withstand immense pressure and wind loads. The concrete is specially formulated to be extra durable and resistant to cracking. And here's a cool fact, the towers were built using a modular system. This means that large sections of the building were prefabricated off-site and then lifted into place. This not only sped up the construction process but also improved the quality control. Section 5 Building Giants, Brick by Brick Constructing the Petronas Towers was like assembling a giant high-stakes jigsaw puzzle. The process was complex, requiring meticulous planning and coordination. It all started with the foundation, of course. Once the concrete piles were in place, construction crews began pouring the massive concrete base. This base had to be perfectly level and strong enough to support the weight of the towers. Next came the steel skeleton. Giant cranes lifted the prefabricated steel sections into place, where they were bolted and welded together. As the steel framework rose higher and higher, so too did the excitement surrounding the project. Section 6. A Race Against Gravity Building skyscrapers is a race against gravity. The higher you go, the more challenging it becomes to lift materials and equipment. For the Petronas Towers, this challenge was amplified by the sheer scale of the project. To overcome this, the engineers employed some of the most powerful cranes in the world. These cranes could lift hundreds of tons of steel and concrete to dizzying heights. They were essential in piecing together the tower's massive structure. But cranes alone weren't enough. Construction workers had to risk their lives every day, working at dizzying heights to bolt, weld, and secure the tower's components. These men and women were the unsung heroes of the project, their skill and bravery essential to its success. Section 7. Connecting the Heavens, the Sky Bridge One of the most distinctive features of the Petronas Towers is the sky bridge that connects the two towers at the 41st and 42nd floors. This isn't just an aesthetic flourish, it's an engineering marvel in its own right. The sky bridge is 170 meters above the ground and spans 58 meters between the two towers. It's the highest two-story bridge in the world. But here's the catch, the towers sway independently in the wind. To account for this movement, the sky bridge isn't rigidly fixed to the towers. Instead, it's designed to slide in and out of each tower on bearings. This allows it to move independently and prevents it from being ripped apart by the tower's movement. The Petronas Towers aren't just a marvel of engineering, they're also a testament to Malaysia's rich cultural heritage. The tower's design incorporates Islamic geometric patterns and traditional Malaysian motifs. The tower's stainless steel cladding is interwoven with reflective glass panels. This creates a shimmering effect that changes with the light. At night, the towers are illuminated with a dazzling display of lights, further enhancing their beauty. This fusion of modern design and cultural influences gives the Petronas Towers a unique and captivating aesthetic. They stand as a symbol of Malaysia's identity as a modern nation with deep cultural roots. When the Petronas Towers were completed in 1998, they were the tallest buildings in the world. They held that title for six years, eventually surpassed by Taipei 101 in 2004. But even though they're no longer the tallest, the Petronas Towers remain an iconic landmark and a symbol of Malaysia's progress and ambition. They've become a major tourist destination, attracting millions of visitors each year. More importantly, the Petronas Towers serve as a source of national pride for Malaysians. They represent what can be achieved through hard work, innovation, and a willingness to push the boundaries of what's possible. The Petronas Towers are more than just office buildings. They house a concert hall, an art gallery, a petroleum museum, and even a mosque. They're a vibrant hub of activity, reflecting the dynamism of Kuala Lumpur itself. The towers are surrounded by 50 acres of parkland, providing a welcome green space in the heart of the city. 
This park is a popular spot for locals and tourists alike to relax, enjoy the outdoors, and marvel at the towers from below. The Patronus Towers have become an integral part of Kuala Lumpur's identity, shaping the city's skyline and capturing the imagination of people around the world. The story of the Patronus Towers is a story of human ingenuity, determination, and the power of collaboration. It's a story that reminds us that even the most ambitious dreams can be realized with enough hard work and a willingness to push the limits of what's possible. The Patronus Towers stand as a testament to the human spirit and its boundless capacity for innovation. They inspire us to reach for the stars, to challenge ourselves, and to never stop dreaming big. And who knows what incredible feats of engineering and architecture the future holds. One thing's for sure, the Patronus Towers have set the bar pretty high.